Above everybody, welcome to Oni Bayana Tutorials and today we shall be learning how to make this puff stitch coaster and I really prefer this coaster to the other coasters that I have made earlier which are uh, not so puffy because it absorbs the moisture well from the uh, cup or mug that you have placed on it. It's pretty thick so it is actually quite sturdy and it will protect your table or your wood from uh, moisture and heat when you keep something on it. A lot of times what happens is that you keep a mug on a coaster and it seeps through but uh, this is better and it's more sturdy so let's get started uh, I'm using a 3.5 mm hook and a DK uh, size yarn you can you can actually this is quite adjustable you can use a 4 mm hook or a 4.5 mm hook as well because it doesn't really matter you do just have a tighter or a looser weave um, so don't worry about it let's start with the tutorial I am starting with the magic loop or uh, you can also start with a chain six and joining it with a slip stitch and for the magic loop you want to do this yarn over pulling up a loop if you're not familiar with the magic loop then you can simply uh, do a chain six and join and then continue like so so we to start we'll chain one two okay and then we will what we'll do is uh, yarn over pull up a loop like a long loop okay so we'll have to pull it so it becomes the length of this loop is as much as these two uh, chains that we have made earlier okay and make sure that you have like a consistency throughout and again yarn over and pulling up another loop so now we have you have one two three four five uh, loops on your uh, hook and you want to do that one more time seven so yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull up a loop now you have seven and what you want to do is now yarn over and pull through all seven in one go okay like so and then chain one to secure it so that's your first puff stitch right there and you want to do this eight times okay so let's try and do that one more time so yarn over pulling up a loop and make a long loop okay this has to be long so all of these puff stitches here are nice and long okay one two three and yeah pulling through all and then chain one so this is one puff stitch the chain one that we do at the last in is included in the puff stitch okay that's part of the puff stitch so i'll meet you when i have eight so i've just finished doing the eighth puff stitch and right now you can't make out one from another but you can still sort of try one two three four five six seven and eight and now what you want to do is join it and make it into a circle so I'm just going to go into this top chain here from the end from the first uh, puff stitch and I'm going to join it like so okay I'm going to chain just one okay and I'm going to just pull this slightly and start making two puff stitches in the first stitch here and I'm going to jump into this one and use this space first so long nice and long one two three right I'm going to yarn over and pull through all loops chain one to secure it now I have my first puff stitch here what we want to do is we want to do two puff stitches into every space between the puff stitches so right now we have eight in the first round and the next round we'll have 16 okay, so I'm just going to go back into the same space here and make one more puff stitch one two three okay yarn over pull through all loops right like so and chain one and we don't have to do any chains in between or anything just two puff stitches into every space I'm not going to go into this 
uh, chain space here. I'm just going to go into the between the puff stitches, which is like a lot of space. Okay, so I'm going to use this space. Let's do that one more time. And if you if your thread is thinner, okay, the thread is thinner, and you still want a very puffy um, coaster, what you can do is instead of doing three uh, pull-ups, you can do four or five as well. So you'll have nine or eleven um, stitches on your token. We have now we have see now we have like set of two each in every space like so this is one set second set third set okay so this we have to do and i'll meet you when once you have 16 and do not join without me okay i'll see you guys in just a bit all right so we have uh, 16 puff stitches now okay and i've just finished my last puff stitch here and uh, we want what we want to do is we want to join to this first puff stitch right here okay with a slip stitch and uh, what we want to do now is again chain one and we want to use again this same space to do one puff stitch okay chain one and then two chains one two and then again in the same space you want to do one more puff stitch So since this is a square, this is one of our corners actually. And now what we want to do is do three, one uh, puff stitch into the next three spaces. One, two, and three. We're not going to do anything. We're just going to do one puff stitch each. Okay. And there are no chains or anything in between like we did here. We did two extra chains in between. We don't need to do that here. So we'll do just one puff stitch each. one this is one of the sides of the square two, three. Sorry. okay so what we have here basically is one side of our square okay now we want to go to this into this next one and do one puff stitch chain two another puff stitch in the same space so one puff stitch chain two one two another puff stitch So a puff stitch basically is a variation of the double crochet. If you are not familiar with the double crochet, you can learn that first. So see, we have another corner. Does it look like a square now? Right? And don't worry about this weird uh, edge. We will fix it later. We will do something which will make it better. Okay, and then again, what you want to do is do one puff stitch into the next three spaces one, two, three, then another corner, which is puff stitch, chain two, puff stitch in this one, then again, one, two, three, again, corner, and one, two, three. Okay, and then we'll meet. I'll we'll meet when you are back. All here. right, so we have uh, four sides now. It, it's looking much more like a square. 
and we're just going to join it into the first puff stitch that we had made in this round with a slip stitch and just have a look okay it's more and more taking shape so let's move on i'll just do one chain here and then i'm going to do one puff stitch in this one over here not in the corner the one before the corner because this is the space that we are at right now okay we're going to do one puff stitch here Another one puff stitch here. Now I'm at the corner. At the corner, I'll just repeat the corner, which is the puff stitch, chain two, puff stitch. So every corner, and you can make this as big as you want, every corner will remain the same. One, two, chain two, and then another puff stitch. One. And again, what we want to do is do one, two, three, four, uh, four puff stitches, one each into this four spaces, and then one corner here, and then so on and so forth. So just have a look here. This is a corner, one, two, between chain two. And these are the individual puff stitches, one, two, three, four, again a corner. One, two, three, four again a corner so this is what we want to do in the last round okay so i'll meet you once we are back here around here after completing every corner with a corner and four individual puff stitches on every side okay okay so we are at the last uh, stage of our coaster now and if you want you can keep increasing it in the same fashion uh, a corner for every corner and a puff stitch for every space in between okay and you can make it a hot pad or you can make it uh, a bigger uh, sort of coaster or whatever you want it to be okay and uh, what i'm going to do is now to join it again in the first puff stitch that we had made in this round and now there's not much to do now we just have to do a finishing round that we have done here it's a simple single crochet gives like a neat a uh, much much neat finish so let's see how to go about that just chain one and one single crochet in every stitch okay one two three and we have the corner now in the corner we'll do five so that it's a nice uh sharp corner two Three, four, and five. So crochet the corners. See, now we have a nice corner. And then just one single crochet in each puff stitch and each space as well. So each stitch, one, two, three, four, and every one we need one single crochet and five in the corner. Okay. So let's do that and meet back again. All right, so I have done one single crochet each in one of all of these stitches and five in every corner so that it becomes nice and sharp. And now I'm at the last stitch. If you're not familiar with single crochet, sorry, I didn't explain earlier, then you can just go back and watch my tutorials for a single crochet. It's pretty simple. Um, and I'm going to join to this first stitch here. Okay, join it and then just going to cut it because we are done okay so I'm just going to pull it back down and the, this is the back side what I usually do is just uh, make use this these stitches to hide my loose ends okay it's not a difficult task you can also use a needle which and i'm sure it will be easier with a needle it's just i didn't have it handy so i figured i'll just do what i can 
now they have these two this is the loose end from the starting circle this is the other loose end and i'm just going to tie them together and snip them off having a secure back is extremely important and now what I do with these uh, coasters usually to flatten them out is keep them under my laptop or under a heavy book for the night so that they are they become nice and flat now they are laying pretty fat flat for now so we don't have to but look at these if you like them if you make them you can um, send me pictures tag uni by anna bennett and uh, like share and subscribe um, thank you for watching